basically just going to gun it on a curved treadmill. And we've pulled a hammy. 100, 100 meter swims. It's the strict bicep curl. I don't think it was worth it. What's up guys, Ross Edgley here, and today we're at the Gymshark Lifting Club where I have been set a challenge. This is a hybrid fitness challenge where first off we're going to start with swimming, so looking at techers, then we're going to go into the gym, we're going to look at sprint speed on the curl treadmill, until finally we're going to see what's in the locker on a strict bicep curl. First up, we're going to have the swim to the lake. This is kind of my forte, so I'm sort of looking forward to this one. I think I might do okay, because I'm, I'm quite good at floating and, and eating, so that's why I brought um, loads of snacks. What we're gonna do, we're gonna break it up into 100, 100 meter swims with 30 seconds rest in between. Ross, did you say 100, 100 meter sprints? I did. There's method to the madness. So Emil Zatopek, one of the greatest endurance runners ever to exist, he'd never run a marathon before. He won the 10,000 meters. And then in the morning he woke up, turned to his coach and just went, you know what? I fancy adding an Olympic gold. And he just absolutely crushed it. He used to do the 100, 400 meter sprints. So basically next time you go down an athletics track, just look at the loop and just think a hundred of those. Oh no, it's slippery. <sighs> Just flip me over and put me in when 30 seconds is done. That'll help. Three, two, one. That's hard. Okay, swim done, and now we are in the gym chart lifting club for challenge two and three. We're basically just gonna gun it on a curved treadmill and just look at uh, the top metric, the top speed. Apparently a cheater does it in around 80 to 130 kilometers an hour. It seems quite ambitious. I just think in the animal kingdom, I'm probably really somewhere at the bottom here. Pig, top speed, 17.7. I think I can beat a pig. A hippo runs at 48 kilometers an hour, which seems quick. I'm getting sidetracked. I'm gonna just get on three trials, top speed, um, see what we do. Round one, fight. Twenty-nine three. I think I've got quicker. Round two, fight. Oh, I did 31 2. 31 2. That's, there's more to be had. There's more. Bear with me. I think my glutes let me down. You know, if there was a, like a herd of hippos, I think I would be sort of at the back somewhere with the infants and the injured ones. But I'd be in there, you know, and that's the important thing. Not winning, but they'd accept me. And I think that's what's important. Final round, fight! Oh! I almost brought a hammy, but 33 1. I don't think it was worth it. <laughs> oh. Okay, last up, we have got the strength challenge. Now, obviously, you've got the squat, the bench, and the deadlift, but it was universally agreed. It's the strict bicep curl. I can't quite believe this. So the heaviest strict curl ever recorded was 114 kilos. That's 251 pounds by a gentleman called Leroy 
Walker. I apologize to the, the strict curl professionals if my technique is bad, but I'm gonna have a go. Back against there, arm straight. I think that's it. So this isn't even half of what the world record is. What do you think he looks like? Yeah, he looks like he would have the world record. My God. 50. So this is half, over half a Leroy. That's not bad, referee. <laughs> I have so much respect for Mr. Walker. Oh my God, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that was ugly. Okay, so the final tally, but so we got that's 75? Yeah. So yeah, that feels I have no reference. That's heavy. <laughs> no, I don't know if it is. <laughs> I'm gonna search, see if that's any good.